bystanders, police officers, are the residents of the senior pastor of the Wind of Glory International Church, Umwaya, at the estate where a puzzling event unravels. The bodies of Pastor Blessed Kalichi, his assistant Ambassador Ikeagu, and women leader Rose Andrew are being loaded into an ambulance. Relatives and friends who are still confused as to what may have happened shared their story. On Sunday, we came to church expecting the man of God and the assistant being ambassador. We did not see any of them. The church was very rowdy on Sunday. So maybe the person that masterminded the killing was the same person that called and told us that he, he was acting like the, the pastor. He told us that he, he's not around, he traveled, that we should hold the service anyhow, that he'll be on service on Wednesday. Then yesterday we came here with her. So checking from the gate, I discovered that a fly was coming out from the last room window and I was perceiving something. I called the brother because all of them were okay. So look at what I'm sensing because the brother was not a normal house for yesterday. He just came in a few minutes ago. She now said, okay, let's just go and make entry to the police. So I called Ambassador Elder Sister with the girlfriend. Three of us went to Obakala police station. We made some entries in the night that we should come back by six. We came back by six. Then they took us to this place, I think around 9.30 to 10. Breaking the house, we now discovered some dead cops. While the event remains a mystery yet, the police say they will deploy whatever is necessary to unravel the death. If you go inside the house, you will also notice that all the household property were cutted away. So we are really suspecting murder. So police is investigating and we call on members of the public, whoever that has useful information that will help us to unravel those behind this dastard act. This case of suspected murder leaves us with many loose ends and several questions begging for answers. Who masterminded the killings and why? And who kept the relatives busy with calls in order to keep them from suspecting a foul play? Hopefully the police will get to the root and bring the perpetrators to book.